scary skeletons speak with such a screech. You'll shake and shudder in surprise when you hear these zombies shriek. And welcome to my crazy world. Yes, it's me, Elle. And how are you this week? Sorry I wasn't around last week. But, uh, uh, you know, when you make those things called uh, New Year... What's the word? Um, New Year... I can't remember the word. Resolution. Sorry. Sorry if I scared you. I scared myself. Um, yeah, New Year's resolution was that I would be making everything and popping it out when it should be and la 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 la. Well, guess what? I failed Wednesday miserably and also yesterday, which was Friday. So I do apologise. So this is going to go up on Wednesday next week. So when you see it, it will be Wednesday this week. <laughs> it's alright, I'm giving myself anxiety or, or ticks and nervousness and... <sighs> anyway, so yeah, you'll be watching it Wednesday this week, which is actually... I recorded this on Saturday last week. Okay, anyway, and here once again with my handy dandy book, which I've noticed a lot more people around have been using my handy dandy book and handy dandy this and handy dandy that. So, are people watching me? Are they saying my words or is it just a coincidence or in the words of a man I know, a coinkidding? One wonders. Anyway, enough of all that silliness. <laughs> As if that's ever going to change around here. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, um, <clears throat> last Christmas, which was just last month, only three weeks ago, uh, I decided that Morphe has now become my best friend and is making me waste a lot of money that I shouldn't be, but I'm also being very frugal with what I do and what I buy. So I was looking on their web page as you do, just to see what they've got and what they haven't got. So anyway, I decided that I was going to buy myself a box, which at the time um, I did not know it was a um, seasonal sort of box or Christmas box sort of set up they had two one was um, I love mysteries and the other one was more a face thing and I don't know what it's called offhand but it was more to do with uh, eyelashes and more brushes and stuff like that anyway so I wasn't going to spend $75 because, like I said, I like my make makeup lots, but trying to be frugal at the same time. So I bought myself this, which is going to be back to front to you guys. But anyway, it's I Love Mysteries. So, yeah, and in this, there was five pieces and it's empty now because I've used it today so what you see me wearing today is uh, bar the lipstick is all Morphe stuff so when it came it was in a lovely box which had stuff in it and now it's just got those little black noodly things so yeah. but at that time it had this palette and a set of eyelashes which for the life of me I cannot find uh, and also two, three, three brushes. So, yeah, so they're the three brushes. And I thought, wow, this is pretty damn good, I reckon. So the brushes that I got in it, 
Now I've never owned any Morphe brushes and I sort of thought, man, everybody raves on about Morphe brushes and I thought, no, oh, we'll get to see because I've got three. So, and this box cost me $45. So five pieces for $45 is pretty darn good, I reckon. So anyway, I don't wear fake lashes. Well, I've tried. Uh, the ones that I can get on are the uh, magnetic ones. Anything else? No. I've only tried once and that was at my birthday party and I ended up with a lash sort of sticking out yonder and so I ended up um, just ripping them off. So, hmm. so anyway, the brush that I got was M1, uh, sorry, M412 which is this one. Now, please excuse the messiness because put my glasses on. Um, yes, excuse the messiness because I actually used this one and this one is the 524, sorry. So that's 524. It's a sort of flattish brush and it's rather nice. It's soft but not too soft. So I've actually used that for under there, putting some um, contour stuff to make my nice, neat line. So I'm pretty sure it's not what it's supposed to be used for, but mm, I am using it for that. Um, this one is the M461. Yeah, M461. And it's sort of cute. I'd say it's sort of like a highlighter thing, I think. I haven't actually looked up to see what they're supposed to be used for, obviously. Um, the only one that I do definitely know is this one, and this one is a um, blender brush. And I tell you what, it's awesome. But not as awesome as. Sorry, my fan's on. Um, not as awesome as my Real Techniques brushes, which I will be doing a spot about that at a later stage. But um, yes, this one's the 412, and it's a beautiful, nice and soft. You can blend nicely. Actually, wow. Now that was just a bit of something that I put on. But even just doing that on there, it's blending it out, so it works. So yeah. But there you go. That's one thing. Then I got in the palette. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. All my colours. And it is, excuse your fingies, you, you get your real plastic cover, which I'll move because, yeah. And then you've got a variation of my hair colour <laughs> and then nudes which I'm actually enjoying wearing some nudes as well so uh, but the colours that I chose today were <coughs> this one here which is Phoenix that one there which is Sydney and that one there and that's called Summer and that one is Gino or Juno, Gino, J E N O, Geno, Geno. But I was really, really impressed with that, and that's what you can see on the eyes. So give you a bit of, bit of look now. I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know. So yeah, that's that. Then. Because I thought, well, you know, hey, they've turned out really nice and I like the way they work and all that sort of stuff. Um, after Christmas, I thought, hmm, I need a highlighter because I like, I've got highlighters, but they all seem to be a little bit, they're not, you know, so this one. I don't know if you can see it now, but there's a pinky one, 
Um, and this one is called, uh, well, it's not called, it's called Desi Danger. And Desi Danger is a makeup person. So she's signed it, all in holographic sort of things. Yeah, so, and that looks like that, which you probably can't tell, but it's a, a pinky, peachy sort of colour. Well, more pink, but it's got a, a shift that is pinky purple. Um, which is what I'm wearing. And you can't really see it properly, but then there's this one that I bought, which is your Brontour. So, yeah, there you go. Um, you've got your contouring and a highlighter in it as well, I'm supposing. But this is really way too light for me. So I've got contour on, but can't even see it. Well, I, I can't. But then again, I don't want, you know, big brown patches here because then you've got to blend it in and do all the goo-gars and everything else. So, yeah, that's that. And then... I bought myself this one. Yes, I know. I've bought a lot. And this one here, which is called Hello Extra. And that's a peachy gold sort of colour. So let's see. Let's see, shall we? Got any on? Put that on. Can you see? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, you can. Need me on the knees. And let's do the other side. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that that's definitely there. So there you go. Um I just thought I'd let you know about it. And of course the setting spray is by Morphe as well. And this actual beautiful thing, um I spoke to a girl, a girl, a lady, a young lady, by the name of Chloe, and she's got a, a video place as well, oh, what's it called, she's got her own YouTube channel, uh, Chloe Benson, so, hi Chloe, um, yeah, I said to her that I wanted to get a setting spray, but not one that you've got all the sorts of Australis and NYX and and all this. By the way, everything I've said here about Morphe is not sponsored by Morphe at all. This is all me paying for it and just saying that I reckon it's good stuff. Um, yeah, back to the setting spray. You get the other ones, but they're a pump action. And if you don't have it at the right spot, you can get little droplets rather than a, a mist. So I spoke to her about it and she said, try this stuff because it's a continuous mist and oh my lord, this is love. I've actually introduced Ebony and Alyssa to it, which I'm pretty sure they knew about it, but I bought them one each for um, Christmas to go with their other bits and pieces that they got for Christmas and um, introduced them to the world of Morphe setting spray so I think they've pretty much enjoyed it so yeah there you go but um I just thought I'd talk to you about Morphe because I love it and I'm sort of getting a little bit more adventurous with my makeup fun but so I'm sort of letting you know about it but there's other things coming up in the works so don't don't just write me off as just a plain old mm, makeup channel because I'm nowhere near that talented. I wear makeup so it looks nice. Well, I'd like to think that it looks nice. Um, and that's about it. All right. Oh, I've just realized I'm wearing my dragon top and it matches my hair. So <laughs> there you go. There's my dragon. Isn't he beautiful? Yes. Um, and the reason I've got this is thanks to Heather. He's also a, a very good friend of mine. He's, 
which is my partner in crime, sort of. No, not partner in crime. She's a bad influence on me, but I'm just as bad on her, I think. Mm, pretty much on par, but anyway, leave him alone. <laughs> All right, well, I thought I'd let you know, so at least you know I'm still alive and kicking. So, yeah, that's about it for this week. Um, so, take care. Look after yourselves, treat others as you would like to be treated, and stay safe on the road. And it's goodbye from me, and I might even get something happening for the next week. Wouldn't that be good if I was actually ahead of myself? I don't know. Could be dangerous. Hmm. Anyway, right, to you, take care, and tra, and, and all the rest of the rubbish that I go on with. <laughs> Alright, take care. Bye.